Well, good evening, Edmonton. The title of my presentation is a bit of a misnomer, but you'll soon understand why that is. So I'm here to ask for your help to contribute to a community that could certainly use it, and I'm talking about Fort McMurray. As we well know, Fort McMurray was the economic engine of this province for years, and it drew people from around the world, as well as across the province and across the country, including my family, to be a part and of its prosperity. All of that changed, however, fairly recently, first with the collapse of its oil sands-based economy, and then with the beast, a wildfire that destroyed 2,400 homes, led to the evacuation of the entire city, and became Canada's most expensive natural disaster. So I'm here to ask to your help to contribute to a statue for Fort McMurray. And statues, as we know, can be great expressions of the communities that they represent. And this is not the first time that a community has come together to build a statue. The Statue of Liberty here would not be in New York City were it not for the donations that came in through the first, world's first attempt at crowdfunding that brought in 160,000 donations. But statues are more than just about uh, tourism and more than just placemaking. Some, like this statue of a Lakota woman in South Dakota, simply titled Dignity, can represent our highest human aspirations. They can represent feelings of kinship, affection, and acknowledgement of our shared humanity. Now here in Alberta, we've done a fairly decent job with some memorials. Some of them, like this one, the Pisanka, the, the giant Ukrainian Easter egg in Beggarville, about an hour east of here, are a great expression of one generation's story to the next. Others, maybe not so much. A giant aluminum baseball bat at a traffic intersection in Edmonton doesn't really say much for our feelings about baseball or about public art. <laughs> but given the case of what I've described about Fort McMurray, I'm about to pitch an idea which I think makes sense given the context. I'm talking about a statue of Alberta's most famous fictional character. I'm talking about Wolverine. <laughs> now you might be familiar with this idea. This is not a new idea, nor is it my idea. Brian LaBelle started a petition to create a Wolverine statue in Edmonton about four years ago. I reached out to Brian and talked to him about having this in Fort McMurray, and he agreed, and we've been working on it ever since then. Why not Edmonton? I'll get to that in a second. But who is Wolverine? Well, he started, he was created in 1974 by Marvel Comics creators Len Wein and Roy Thomas, who wanted a character that um, represented uh, the, um, that, that was of interest to their Canadian audience. So as you can see here, Hugh Jackman, who, who's portrayed him in nine films, uh, he's now become one of the most popular characters ever. Wolverine's specific abilities are that he's tough, he's agile, he's got an adamantium skeleton and adamantium claws, but he's also got a regenerative healing factor that allows him to bounce back from any physical trauma, including fire. Hint, hint. <laughs> but he's more than just a surly, snarly outcast. He's also a deeply moving character, and this is what makes him so interesting to comic book readers. He has a strong moral code, he always uh, does the right thing for those uh, around him, and he also puts bullies in their place. This is what has made him so popular over the years. As, the, as a member of the X-Men, Wolverine has traveled around the world, from Japan to Brazil to Madripoor and parts beyond. As a Canadian, he roams this country, from the Yukon to Quebec, from Moose Jaw to Vancouver, but always we know him as an Albertan, as you can see in the top right-hand corner. Now, where in Alberta is he from? Well, to be more precise, he's from Northern Alberta. <laughs> this is the very first scene that introduces him in the 2000 film X-Men. And this is why I think the statue didn't really work in Edmonton, because here's a deep, dark lie we've been telling ourselves. We are not Northern Alberta. <laughs> we are, at best, Central Southern Alberta. At 53 degrees latitude, that's where we are. Fort McMurray, on the other hand, at 57 degrees latitude north, is definitely northern Alberta. And that shaded area of the map, by the way, that's where wolverines, the species, actually live. So now what does Marvel think about this? Well, at the uh, Comic Expo last month in Edmonton, I spoke to Larry Hama, who was one of the artists to work on Wolverine originally. Larry didn't really look up from his sketch pad to talk to me, but... <laughs> I did suggest that there was an idea to build a statue here, and he said, that seems like a good idea. <laughs> what does Marvel, the comic company, think? I went to their website to get more information, and this is literally what came up. File not found. But we shouldn't let copyright get in the way of building something like this. Because 
there's already a statue of Superman, a statue of uh, Rocky Balboa, and a statue of Captain America in the United States. But here's what really got me excited. This is a cast of the bronze statue of RoboCop that is going up in Detroit. This was entirely crowdfunded. This came about from 2,700 donations of varying amounts from across well, the United States and around the world for RoboCop. MGM Studios, which owns the copyright, said that as long as it's a nonprofit initiative, they're okay with it. So how much did they raise? Well, they raised about 67,000 US, which in Canadian dollars is about 85,000. So as of about three hours ago, we launched a campaign asking for about $85,000 as our initial goal to build a Wolverine statue. There's one donation, that's from me. <laughs> Where would we put it? Well, how about Wolverine Drive in Fort McMurray? Like, there's already a Wolverine Drive in Fort McMurray. How have we not done this so far? What does Fort McMurray think? Well, I pitched the idea to the Public Arts Council and they're quite interested. So we can, go, we can take this wherever we want. Now, if you've been to Vulcan, Alberta, I, I can't believe there's two Starship Enterprise references already. But if you've been to Vulcan, you know that we've already done this in Alberta. We've taken a pop culture icon and we've added our own unique twist to it. And we've made it our own. Vulcan now hosts conventions and parades around, the, uh, around Star Trek. And I think we can do the same with Wolverine. And if for any reason we can't go ahead with it, the money will go ahead to the preservation of, you guessed it, Wolverines in Northern Alberta. So that's it for me. Uh, Brian and I are both here. We're happy to chat with you. If you go to Indiegogo.com and search Wolverine statue, you can find the, uh, the campaign and you can follow us also on uh, our Twitter handle, which is also Wolverine statue. Thank you. <laughs>